2K fan, welcome to NBA 2K Leagues, the post up. I'm Dirk alongside my co-host Harris Superstein, who just can't seem to get enough of us here on the post up, filling in for Autumn Johnson once again. We're coming to you for the third straight week from our live stage here at District E in Washington, D.C. to give you the inside scoop of what's happening in the NBA 2K League. Uh, well, you know, Dirk, I had to come back for the finals. Plus, I love being with you on the post up, providing our viewers with all the up-to-date action surrounding the NBA 2K League. But yes, we are back at the beautiful District D as we capped off the 3v3 portion of the 2023 season. What an amazing week of double elimination bracket play, ending with one team walking away champions of 3v3. For the first time in 2K League history, we saw a bracket reset in our final championship series. Despite coming out of the lower bracket and forcing the second best of seven series, it just wasn't enough for Pistons GT to come out victorious. Forcing the second series to a game seven, their quest to repeat as the 3v3 champs falls just short but can fault the unbelievable effort that we saw this team put forth. Oh, Dirk, what a week. A huge congrats go out to Duke Sivinitos as they were able to fight all through the obstacles and walk away champions of the 3v3 circuit. After securing that switch open title, they have been arguably one of our best teams in 3v3s. What a start to our 2023 season. Harris, we got to take a deep dive of what we saw here for our playoffs. The magic was just so, so palpable this entire week, Dirk. I mean, all the big comebacks, all all the game five wins, a couple reverse sweeps, Pistons GT trying everything they could to get that second 3v3 title. But shout out Dukes and Benitos, the mental fortitude to survive the bracket reset and the game seven against the reigning champs. I mean, that's magic right there. We have to talk about how everything ended up shaping out going into our final day. Nets GC, Dukes Infinitos, and the Bad Bucks, and the defending 3v3 champions, Pistons GT. That was our top four. That is an elite crew to rock with here in our playoffs. Yeah, they were truly the best four teams all season long. Pistons GT, Bucks Gaming, Nets GC, Dukes and Benitos, both of our banner winners and two of our best on stage teams. But down the stretch, the three point making of low key God, like, like I said, didn't miss a single three point shot throughout the last best of seven. And that was the difference. But Killy, man, the command, the lack of turnovers, the big time passes, he was in control the whole series and he was a deserving finals MVP. It was crazy what Killy was able to bring to the table, Harris. It's stuff like that where you end up, team, taking that leap for you, and you come out there and you win a championship? Absolutely not, Stark. And hey, with that being said, I can't believe we have already made it through the 3v3 portion of our 2023 season. It seems like just yesterday we were gearing up for week one and counting down the days to debut our brand new facility. Dirk, what do you say we cap off our 3v3 portion the way we brought it in? We got to take a look at some of the hottest plays in the 3v3 playoffs. Let's run it back. The first play this week comes from Nets GC as Green shows off his vision, setting up streets for the three. Down once more. Yeah, that's crap. And Green's up the streets for three! It's good! Man, Green's really live up to that generational prospect moniker. He was so good this playoffs. Shout out to him for showing up as a rookie. Can't wait to see him coming out there in a 5v5 block. But at number two for this week, it goes out to Killy as he gets the long outlet pass from Loki Godlike and switches home the three. Seconds to work with, fades away with it, and it's no good. Loki Godlike will go soar up there, corral the rebound. Has Killy on the other side, the load up doesn't even matter, gets the timing down. Hey, that was the best combo. That pick and roll was so devious. The pick and pop, I should say. Godlike, money from three all series. Hilly, that's a skill gap shot. That's what the guards say. Third up, it's our man Nate getting the huge block, and Kenny got work finishing it off with a clutch three for the game. Let's take up this little, you want to run with this Nate lineup? Leave him. And there's a stop and go, and there's Nate making the defensive play. Met him at the rim, got the block this time around as Kenny got work, takes the shot for the ball game. Hey, that's a rookie out there getting it done in the 3v3 playoffs. Can't wait to see Nate in fives. Last up, it's the lockdown bag motion from Pistons. GT showing off some slick moves as he spins off his defender and finishes the layup with the foul. As they go over the bag. The spin, the lay, yeah! the continuation. Bag motion with a little flare coming out there from Detroit. And a little dance move coming out there from Ant. 
And that's bag for a man always getting it done around the rim. What an amazing first half of our 2023 season. It only feels right that we ended it right here in person in our 2023 home of the NBA 2K League District E. A true history was made this week, Derek, and the 3v3 playoffs came and went as District E was electric for our playoff bracket play this past week. The arena was packed and all eyes were on our players as a huge cash prize was on the line waiting for the taking. Coming up after the break, we recap our exciting 3v3 portion of the season and officially put a close on the first half of our 2023 season. Welcome back to the NBA 2K League's The Post Up. I'm Harris sitting with my main man, Dirk. This week, we return back to none other than District E, the 2023 home of the NBA 2K League live stage. Absolutely, Harris. We got to see some great 2K action, and it honestly provided teams the ability to get warmed up, find their groove, and ride that momentum the rest of the way. From Piston GTs claiming the slam open to kick off our 2023 season to Blazer 5 Gaming resurrecting themselves out of the Steel Tournament and solidifying themselves in the playoffs, 3v3 truly featured it all. It's going to be tough moving from an exciting first half of our season. Teams are returning back to their respective homes, and the 2K grind is expected to pick back up next week. In the meantime, for you viewers at home, if you missed out on the action for the 3v3 portion of our season, you're in luck. We are going to get you up to speed on what went down during 3v3. Check it out. We are live from District E in our nation's capital, $150,000, and the Coinbase NBA 2K League 3v3 Slam Open title. This is now one of the premier esports facilities on the East Coast, and it's our home. And reminder to everybody at home, it's still double elimination, so even if these teams lose, they are still going to play tonight to make sure that they can still play tomorrow. I'm not losing to somebody with a handlebar mustache. I'm so sorry. That's literally the worst mustache in the league I've ever seen in my life. Washington, D.C. isn't a state. Washington, D.C. is not a state. They wish they were. I have a funny accent. I'm going to be chilling with my seat back. And I'm going to stop for the game to send that D.C. home. And what a week it has been on the virtual hardwood. Let's go to the bracket. And here it is, the slam open finals. Pistons GT versus T-Wolves Gaming. Why? Right, gets it. And for the win. Yeah. And for the win. And season does it. How good does it feel to kick this off being the first champion? I think all five guys are ready. You know, I think we get their beers in the lineup too. Raymond lineup. I think that no matter who plays, I think we're, we're the best team in the world. Welcome to the Coinbase NBA 2K League 3v3 Switch Open. Ooh -wee. We're playing live on stage all week long here at District E in Washington, D.C. Stand it! Let's go! We've come to the part of the 3v3 season where teams start looking towards the playoffs. They're on Kai. Kai fades away. Kai with the green! Seven seconds to work with Malik! Make noise here, and you set yourself up nicely to make a run towards the finals. They crash down on him. Green too nice though with it. He ducks it home! And Lakers gaming out here at District E! Reverse sweep! You can see it in their eyes out there. The players, the coaches, Everyone is locked in. This is more than a tournament. It's a chance for players and fans to come together. Come on! It's like a big party, but with over $100,000 on the line. This has been everything you'd want and more. I smashed a can on my head before we play. TV trying to stay front. Killing down the baseline. The dunk to make history. Dukes, infinitos. They get it done. They are your 3v3 Switch Open champions. Welcome to the Coinbase NBA 2K League 3v3 Still Open. Coming to you live from our home here at District E in Washington, D.C. We're in the final stretch of the 3v3 season. For the teams at the bottom of the league, this is their last chance to steal the final two spots in the playoffs. Over to Deanie. Deanie will take the shot, and Deanie, of course, is going to beat it. It doesn't matter how you got here. Forget the past performances. Good, bad, ugly. This is all that matters now. The steal is single elimination. These guys know it. One bad game, and it could all be over. 
Is he moves trying to get a takeover? Leads him in the dust. So go to the out. Does it get the contest? I told you, you can't beat me. I got your guard. The energy in the building is electric. The fans are locked in. Oh, he's dancing. He takes the shot to put him away. Red combos. What a move. Next bucket. We can call them Steel Open champions. They'll be $25,000 richer. They go down the chaos. He throws it down. Insane tournament! Man, Harris, what a season this was here in three versus three. It feels like time flew by, but we got to go through and break things down in that recap. The Slam Open Champs, Pistons GT, Switch Open, Dukes and Finitos, and of course, Blazer 5 taking the Steel Tournament trophy for the first time ever. The Slam and Switch Open Champions squared off in our finals. And hey, Pistons GT, a well-deserved slam open champion, becoming the first ever team to win a title one season, then come back and win our first tournament to start the year. Absolutely outstanding stuff. But at the end of the day, when Dukes and Benitos got hot during the switch open, Derek, it was just that for the league. It was over. They took control. That lineup of Killy, Hez, and Loki Godlike, that's all it needed. We got to talk about the home team, Wizards District Gaming. They didn't even make it to the playoffs. Talk to me about the significance of this, right? Because you expect them to be defending home territory every single time. It is a new era in Wizards District Gaming. And hey, there are going to be some bumps along the road as they try to rebuild themselves back. But they got that championship pedigree and they still have a good roster. I think they'll turn things around at 5v5. After the break, we tap into another episode of at t Confession Cam, this time to get our players' perspective on being a favorite or an underdog. Plus, the 5v5 portion is rapidly approaching, and we provide the inside scoop on what's to come for a highly anticipated 5v5 circuit. Stay locked in. Welcome back to the NBA 2K League's The Post Up. I'm Harris with my boy Dirk, and all throughout our 3v3 portion, teams separated themselves as favorites, dominating week in and week out, while other teams flew under the radar, staying close, waiting for the perfect time to strike. We saw a perfect example of that back when Glow Navy Glow Skeeters were able to knock off the powerful Knicks Gaming right on the main stage here at District E. In the 2K League, no matter where you sit in the standings or how well you've been playing, any team could show up and take you out. Absolutely, Dirk. Just when you think you're hitting that stride, you underestimate your opponent and it ended up impacting you negatively in the end. That leads to an interesting question though. Would you rather be a favorite or an underdog in that scenario? Harris, I want to be a favorite every single time out. I know some people get the thrill of being the underdog and being doubted, but I want to be known as the best going into it. So no doubt, I want to be the favorite, but the idea of being viewed as a favorite or an underdog is something our 2K League players have plenty of experience with. Your every move is watched. The pressure to succeed elevates to new heights. Some of our NBA 2K League players gave us their opinion in the matter on another episode of at t s Confession Cam. Check it out. I think I'd rather be the favorite. Uh, I kind of enjoy people rooting against me. I think it makes it more fun. I say favorite. I'm more of like that cocky uh, type of attitude person. As much as I like rooting for the underdog, I'd rather be the favorite. I'd say favorite for sure. You have that confidence level like it just puts you up there, you know, like plays at the top of your game. I like having a target on my back. That makes me perform better. I like having that sense of pressure and that expectation. You don't have that margin for error. Your confidence is at an all time high. Uh, when you're an underdog, you're motivated by people telling you, oh, you can't do this and do that. And that's all fine and dandy, but why even put yourself in that situation in the first place? I'd rather be the underdog. You got nothing to lose. You play like you got nothing to lose. I came in the league as an underdog. It's nice to always exceed expectations. The underdogs always have this fight in them that's annoying to play. People are counting you out when you have your back against the wall. That's when I shine the brightest. If you win, it's a much better story. People are going to talk about it more. It's kind of like our persona, down underdogs. When somebody's doubting you and when somebody puts the pressure on you, that's when I excel the most. I've kind of always been an underdog, you know, my entire, like, 2K career, damn near my life. You want to prove people wrong. I feel like throughout my life, 
Like being a favorite, just it never really fit me. You know, people come up to you and tell you, oh yeah, you're gonna beat this team and you play this team next. It's like, nah, I don't really wanna hear that. I need to take care of my business that, that's in front of me first. Harris, if my guy and a 3v3 champion and the runner up this year is saying they're gonna be the favorites, I'm just gonna go ahead and piggyback off what he said. Yeah, probably a good person to trust on this topic. He's been on both ends. He was the underdog last year. They were the favorite this year. They got the title last time around, but hey, sometimes being the favorite is hard. They just couldn't get over the finish line. Well, whether you are a favorite or an underdog, you know these guys are going to compete and leave it all out there regardless. It's in their blood. It's never over until it's over. We've officially slammed the door on 3v3, and now it's time to shift our focus to 5v5. Harris, what should people know heading to the next portion of our season? Well, we are back at 5v5, our sixth season playing in this game mode. We're back to our three tournaments. We got the tip-off powered by AT&T, the turn powered by AT&T, and the ticket powered by AT&T. Working very similarly to 3v3, those two mid-season tournaments, and the last chance qualifier coming in with the ticket. Should be fantastic, Dirk. We've been seeing a lot of guys on the bench during 3v3. No more of that. All five guys are going to be on the court for every single game. I can't wait to see what positions guys play, what narrative narratives come out of it and hey who is going to take control of our award races we always give fives a little bit more of us some love let's see how that changes things of course too right we've been so used to now we've had the lower bracket the double elimination we will flip back to the single elimination going over there to 5v5 but we got to talk about this anticipation here she brought it up no more bench players on the headset it's going to be coach maybe assistant coach out there we get to see players like bear to beast of t-wolves gaming finally get some action we saw a tad bit it's worth 3v3 and one i think i'm most excited about here is Remo. we saw him talking the talk behind oh, yeah. the team at 3v3 we get to see the big fellow back out there on the main stage uh, i can't wait to see what this pistons gt team has in 5v5 so we haven't even mentioned the reigning champs have a bucks gaming coming in they lose dimes and cease they add one of the best players in league history one wild wanda the all-time leader in rebounds in league history let's see if he can help them get a second title that is gonna be tough to do. Just so many players out there. And I gotta bring this up too. The great Vandini, now the 3v3 champion. We're gonna see him out there probably playing some point guard. Who knows at this point with the tear that kill he's on. And hey, not just uh, Vandy, right? We're gonna see Lord Beezus as well, the two former Pacers gaming teammates. I can't wait for 5v5, Dirk. It's what I came into this league on, and it is what so much of our legacy is built on. So it is time to see who is going to be the best 5v5 team in the world. But coming up after the break, Pistons GT prove they can get it done on the court. But when it comes to thinking quick on their feet, do they share the same success? We had them take part in the alphabet game to see how quick they are with their ABC. That game is tough. Plus, being in our nation's capital to wrap our 3v3 season, it's only fitting we keep the DC trivia going. Stay with us. back to NBA 2K Leagues, the post-up. I'm Dirk here alongside my guy, Harris, and we have made it to the end of our last show centered around our 3v3 portion of the season. What a start it has been, and only one can hope the level of play carries over to 5v5. Absolutely, Dirk. The second half of our season means more champions to be crowned and plenty of opportunity to take home some extra cash. Speaking of champions and cash prizes, the mighty Pistons GT have been a force during 3v3 in the efforts to defend the final run they went on last season. They have been clicking on all cylinders, making it known that they are one of the top teams here in the NBA 2K League. And that's right, Dirk. And the emergence of rookie Connor has taken this team to new heights and definitely makes them a title contender heading into fives. While Pistons GT is familiar with winning on the court, we want to see how they do in a friendly alphabet game that tests how quickly they can think on the fly. Let's see how it played out. Hey guys, it's Connor from Pistons GT, and I'm here to play the alphabet game today. Be Rich, uh, Blazer 5 Gaming, um, Behind the Back, uh, Broccoli. Gamer Tag, Be Rich, 2K Move Return, Blocking Foul. A food, bacon. Uh, game attack, Krizzy, Celtics, to get move time, crab, and a food, crabs. Who is G in the uh, gradient? Uh, 2K franchise, Gen G, uh, 2K term, good shot. Food, gelatos. 
Harris, it seems pretty fitting that a team who dominated 3v3 didn't get a single answer wrong in the alphabet game. There's levels to this. They, they absolutely killed it, but I don't know about Ramo's 2K move answer. Yeah, you know, Ramo, he's a wild card. You never know what he's going to end up bringing to the table. When you put a camera in front of him, that's what always makes the best content we're talking about, Ramo. <laughs> well, you want to talk about some great content. Let's now go to some DC trivia. We asked our players, who is the first president to live in the White House? First president ain't living in a while. Don't know, bro. I haven't been to school in a while. Yeah, my history is not good with this, bro. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. I don't know, bro. What do you mean, living in the house? Was Abraham Lincoln? We're gonna go with Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln? Jefferson? George Washington? George Washington? I'm gonna just say George Washington. I'm gonna go Jefferson. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton? Bro, what's wrong with that guy? Uh, is it my boy Sammy Adams? John Adams? Really? I believe that would be John Adams. John Adams. Appreciate it. <laughs> Harris. Bill Clinton? The first president in the yeah. White House? Yeah, that's not great. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit that one with the hashtag not great. But the good news is he's far better at 2K than he is at DC Trivia. Well, it's time to take a breather. Now that 3v3 is done, we have crowned Dukes Infinitos, the champs here at District E in Washington, D.C. It's time to move on and shift focus to 5v5 as we lead off the second half of our season with the tip-off. And hey, you can check us out. To find out more, head over to NBA2KLeague.com for schedules and times and follow us on all of our social platforms at NBA2KLeague to keep up with everything NBA2KLeague or to learn more about esports and the NBA. For now, I'm Harris. That's Derek from our cast and crew. Until next time, 2K fam.